Hello, welcome to a new video. If you can't already tell, this is a readathon announcement. Um, for a certain musical called Six, which, if you don't know, is my favourite musical and I've seen it many, many times. And we'll see it many, many more times. But I, obviously I love this musical and I wanted to do a readathon. And I was thinking up prompts and I wanted it to be basic prompts that anyone can fill. I didn't want to go, I don't want to delve too deep into the individual characters. If I enjoy doing this round, I may do another round later on where I do a bit more complex prompts that are more in depth to the actual individual queens. However, for now, we have seven prompts because we have one prompt for each queen and then we have a prompt for the ladies in waiting, which if you've been to see six or you've watched a video of six, the ladies in waiting are the band that play on stage with them. So this readathon is going to run from the 1st to the 31st of July. And yeah, you just have to read a book for each prompt. If you want to double up, you can. There are like no points to this, no competition. There is no rules other than if you think a book fits, it fits. And have fun. If you want to start a book before the 1st of July or finish it after the 31st of July, you can. Just don't tell me. I personally would say if you've got, if you read at least half of a book in July, you can count it. But again, if you don't tell me, I'm not going to know. This isn't a competition. This is just for fun. So I'm very excited for this. Without further ado, let's go into the prompts. The prompt for Aragon is read a first book in a series. This one is pretty self-explanatory. Literally, a first book in a series. Doesn't matter what series, just the first book. The prompt for Berlin is a reader book that everyone's talking about. So for this, it could be a really popular book or it could just be a book that maybe there is a readathon a read along going on at the moment so for example you could use the mass along book or the chronicles of ixia book any book that a lot of people are talking about right now will fit for this prompt seymour is read a friend's favorite book so this one I'm going to broaden it and it doesn't even need to be a friend necessarily picking a favourite book for you. If a booktuber has a favourite book, they mention a book is their favourite and you want to read it, you can choose that as this prompt as a friend's favourite book. The prompt for Cleves is a book that has had a cover change. So for this one, again, pretty self-explanatory, book with a cover change if a book has had more than one cover, so you can easily check this on Goodreads or Google, just like type in the book and if it's got more than one cover available, like to view, it will work for this. Which, I'm going to be honest, I think almost all the books on my shelves have had more than one cover, so it's going to be easy. The Howard prompt is read an underrated book. This one, again, self-explanatory, underrated can literally be if you think it's underrated if you think not enough people are talking about this book whether you've read it or not if you don't see people talking about it on social media or like in your friend group it fits i will also say a debut author would work for this because no one's going to really know what their writing's like so you could use a debut author for this one as well part is read the last book in a series this one, just like with Aragon, very self-explanatory, except this is the other end, and this is just read a last book in a series. So literally, a last book in a series. The ladies in waiting prompt is read a book with a group of people. And then this one, found family is probably the easiest one to do, but if there's a book that's about like a band or like a group that are going on a journey or something. So for example, first one that's coming to my mind is Lord of the Rings. They go on an adventure and there's more than one of them. So there's a group of them. Um, but found family is like my go-to for this. But you don't have to do a found family. So yeah, they are the prompts. See what I mean about it being very basic, easy to fill prompts? That these are going to be really easy 
prompts to like fit in with other readathons. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for this. There will be a submission form where you can submit the books you've read just because I'm nosy and I would like to see what people are reading for what prompt. I'm not checking in on you, I'm just nosy. And I like to see how many pages and books get read at the end of the month by people joining in. Um, but yes, I was very extra and decided to do different outfits with the colours for the different queens because I have no chill whatsoever. And I decided to do that. Then I came down with a sore throat after a festival. So yeah, um, I'm rambling. Um, there is a Twitter for this this readathon. So I will leave the Twitter linked in the description box below. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for this. Like six is my favourite. I have got more than one of this because I've seen more than one cast. I think I've got three or four of these now. I have no regrets. So yeah, I hope you decide to join me in July and pick some books for these prompts. Like I said, if you if you can find a book, well, you won't be able to find a book that fits all of them. If you can find a book that fits almost all the prompts, because you won't be able to double up Aragon with Par, because if it's a first book in a series, it's not going to be a last book in the series and vice versa. And also you can't double up Bolin and Howard because they're opposites, underrated and talking about. But if you can, if you can fit these prompts into two books, I will be very impressed and I'm going to want you to tell me how you do that because I'll be impressed. I am extra so I'll be picking one book for each prompt but that's me, you don't have to do that, you can if you want. Um, but I hope you decide to join me in July and read with me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye!